I'm Ahmed Ahmed and I'm from Queen Elizabeth's Public School. Today I'm going to be telling you about Jack Cartier and the First Nation and how Canada got its name. So first, I'll tell you who is Jack Cartier. Jack Cartier is one of the French explorers that explored Canada and he was one of the uh, one of the explorers that began the first the fur the fur trade. So it all started like this. In 1534 when Jack Cartier came on his first voyage and then in St. Lawrence River, he met the Micmac and their chief, Chief Don O'Connor. Chief Don O'Connor walked up to him and introduced himself and said, Hi, we are the Micmac and welcome to our village. And, but he said in their language, and they just speak a different language, so they didn't understand. But Jack Cartier got a translation, which is that, just say, the bad one. Um, uh, um, and he told his dad, his, his dad told him that he said, welcome to this country. Kanata, which meant actually you now village. So that mixed everyone out. That why it's named Canada, but but it's a Canada. So C A N A T A. So it's different than Canada. So I'll tell you why it got changed. Like Jacques Cartier had a crew with him. Like every like the one that fishes, the one that does everything. So one of them said, well, the man said, pardon me, sir. Um, I think he, he was saying about the village because Jack Cartier said, cannot die. He's like, yeah, and he pointed in the village. So it's definitely going to be the village. So he, but, um, uh, uh, Jack Cartier's dad said, I'm pretty sure he said, welcome to this country, Kanata. But after, so later on, the years passed on, and generation generation saying this is Kanata, 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 until one mixed up and said Canada, then kept on saying Canada. So right now it's called Canada. So just saying, overall, without Jacques Cartier, this wouldn't be named Canada. This would be like named the New World, which the European, European, French, and British used to call it, or like something else like that. So, Jacques Cartier is important in uh, the history of Canada. Just say uh, he be one of the people that began the fur trade. So without this, you wouldn't have fur, like you wouldn't have coats, you wouldn't have anything. So you wouldn't have lots of stuff. So you should see the really por important part of Canada's history. So, and this is all for my presentation. Thank you for listening. Just saying, um, under just write what you would think it would be called, like what do you think it would be called? But be reasonable. Don't say like the island of stupidness, the something like that. Like be reasonable.